It's a chilly day, but that doesn't stop members of EFWA from taking to the streets to spread their message. Today, they're going door-to-door to increase membership and conduct a food drive. EFWA operations manager Stacy Bautista says this isn't unusual for the organization, which is completely run by its members. Our members at the Workers' Benefit Council are very concerned about rising levels of hunger in our community. This is obviously an effect of poverty, but it's being compounded by climate change, which is destroying crops. It is uh, affecting farm workers. And then climate change also you know, creates situations where people have to spend more on basic things like cooling control. Not everyone EFWA talks to sees themselves as members, but the food drive spreads the word about the organization and ramps up food donations. It's one of the organization's big focuses, and it all goes back to climate change. Farmers lose large portions of their crop yield every year due to climate change. This often results in lost income or jobs, as well as a need to increase crop prices just to make ends meet. This disproportionately affects low-income families who can't afford those price changes. Syracuse University student Jack Price recognizes the importance of the issue and its effect on the community. I mean, every, I feel like everybody has like leftover uh, cans and stuff that they don't need. And to give that to somebody who would need it more than me, like, why not, right? Despite its name, EFWA isn't exclusive to farm workers. Members include manual laborers, students, and other low-income earners. The organization helps members with problems like shut-off utilities, but also creates opportunities to serve others. The day after the food drive, EFWA members canvassed a low-income neighborhood in Syracuse. Stacy explains some of the hardships faced in this neighborhood. Um, older Puerto Rican couple, he's a veteran, uh, was hurt before the Gulf War. She's disabled. They both work for the Syracuse School District. And like what happened was, once she got disabled, they lost the house because they couldn't afford to keep up with it. Climate change is an issue heavily caused by higher income families with the richest people often contributing most to greenhouse gas emissions. It's the low income population that pays the price for this through low job security, increasing prices, and even the potential to lose homes due to sudden changes in the environment. We need more allies like we cannot uh, do this alone. And frankly, young people, uh, you know, like college students, like this is the generation that is going to directly confront climate change. Like you're going to have to live with this for most of your lives and it's up to you. How is that going to go? How are we going to deal with this? Are we going to fight together and join our poor brothers and sisters who are getting hit the hardest and first? Or are we going to wait until it comes for us and realize, oh, there's no one behind me. Like, oh my God, there's no one coming to help me. If you or someone you know would like to get involved with the EFWA, you can call 315-478-1992.